This segment is about the hip fulcrum, and I've lovingly entitled it, Where is the Acetabulum? <laughs> In the hip fulcrum, after the evaluation, you want to take out the looseness, go to the blue line, add your tension, add internal rotation with length, hold it, hold it, hold it, release the rotation, release the length. When we start working with the second hand, you'll notice that your mentees, when looking for the acetabulum, will be working really hard at this going, it's got to be around here someplace. Is this the acetabulum? Yikes. Oh no, is that the ischium? <laughs> Where is the acetabulum? I have a solution. Again, you see the spine. This is the ilia. So if this were on top of Sandra, and it were a little higher up here, you'll see that here's her ASIS, and right, just slightly medial to that, is her acetabulum. And this is the edge we're looking for right here. So it's not going to be very medial. It's going to be right close to her seam, a, a few inches, maybe three inches underneath. So have your student look more lateral for the acetabulum. One of the problems for new students is being able to take out the looseness, add tension, add internal rotation, and then hold that without letting it go while they find the acetabulum, while they find the ischium, and while they find uh, the sacroiliac joint. The hip fulcrum is complex. First, take out the looseness, get to the blue line, add your traction, and add internal rotation with more traction. Here, to keep the traction and not to lose it, your hand on your knee is another fulcrum and you are bringing her body and your hand towards your body, your own body. Keeping that fulcrum steady on your knee, you then can come forward and find the acetabulum, the ischium, and the ilium. Release the rotation, the traction, and release.